Shaft voltages, or bearing currents, are present in AC motors operated by variable frequency drives, or VFDs. These shaft voltages can discharge through motor bearings, causing electrical discharge machining and resulting in unplanned motor failures, increased maintenance cost, process downtime, and lost revenue. To prevent electrical motor bearing damage, VFD-driven motors must have proven long-term bearing protection, such as the Aegis Bearing Protection Ring. So let's look at the difference between when electric motors are operated by line voltage and when they're operated by a VFD. When electric motors are operated on line voltage, the input power is balanced in frequency, phase, and in amplitude. The sum of the three phases always equals zero volts when properly imbalanced. Note that bearing protection generally is not needed except for large frame motors in this situation. When electric motors are operated by a VFD, the power of the motor is a series of pulses, not a smooth sine wave. The input power is never balanced because the voltage is either zero volts, positive, or negative, with rapid switching between pulses in all three phases. The common mode voltage is usually a square wave or six-step voltage wave form. Because power is never balanced, bearing protection is needed. High-speed switching of drives induces capacitive voltages. These voltages discharge through the motor bearings, causing electrical discharge machining, or EDM, of the bearing race. Now let's take a closer look at the motor itself. The electric motor acts like a capacitor. The pulses to the motor from the VFD create a capacitively coupled common mode voltage between the rotor and the stator, which then travels down the shaft through the bearings to ground. These shaft voltages are what discharge through the bearings and cause the damage. We're going to be taking a closer look at that in the next few slides. In a process known as electrical discharge machining, or EDM, the voltage builds up on the motor shaft until it exceeds the insulating capability of the bearing's oil film layer. At that point of insulation breakdown, the voltage discharges through the bearing. Shaft voltages may discharge during every BFD switching cycle, creating temperatures hot enough to destroy bearing lubrication. These voltage arcs cause rapid melting of the steel bearing surface through the process of electrical discharge machining. This will leave small fusion craters or pits or frets in the bearing race. Prolonged discharges causes widespread pitting of the bearing ball and race surfaces known as frosting. Fluting, which is a concentrated pitting of the bearing race at regular intervals, results in a washboard pattern on the bearing race. This is what bearing fluting sounds like. Ohm's law states that all electricity will seek earth ground through the path of least resistance. Without bearing protection, this path runs through the motor bearing. With an Aegis ring, this path runs safely around the motor bearings, protecting them from EDM damage. There is an additional source of bearing currents in motors over 100 horsepower. In large motors and generators, high frequency circulating currents can also cause EDM. Therefore, in motors over 100 horsepower, we must break the circulating current path. To do this, we must install an Aegis ring on the drive end and insulate the non-drive end bearing. Aegis shaft grounding rings provide long-term bearing protection against damaging shaft voltage discharges. Proven in over a million installations worldwide, the Aegis rings provide the most reliable long-term bearing protection available today, dramatically extending the motor's life. Let's take a look at how the Aegis bearing protection ring works. 
The patented conductive microfibers in the Aegis rings have lower resistance than the motor bearings. They provide a path of least resistance to ground through the ring to the motor frame, bypassing the bearings altogether. The specially designed patented microfibers of the Aegis ring flex without breaking and they operate with ultra low friction. Aegis's patented fiber lock channel secures microfibers in place. It also allows for microfibers to flex without breaking and protects microfibers from excessive dirt, oil, and other contaminants. And the patented Aegis NanoGap technology ensures electrical contact, whether the microfibers are in physical contact with the motor shaft or merely in NanoGap proximity to it. Through the three distinct NanoGap processes shown here, Aegis rings provide electrical contact with the motor shaft across gaps ranging from less than 2 nanometers to gaps greater than 5 micrometers. And these nanogap processes work simultaneously, providing unmatched bearing protection even in the presence of dirt, dust, oil, and other contaminants. Now let's compare the Aegis ring to other shaft grounding technologies. Where single point or discrete point grounding brushes provide only about 4% coverage of the circumference of the motor shaft, Aegis rings provide 100% coverage. This is because the conductive microfibers of the Aegis ring completely surround the motor shaft, providing full 360 degree contact with the shaft. Discrete point designs only offer limited shaft contact. Because of their limited shaft contact, competitive technologies have much lower current carrying capacities than the Aegis rings. And while other shaft grounding technologies work only when they are in friction contact with the motor shaft, Aegis rings work both when in physical contact with the motor shaft and when merely in nanogap proximity to it. Consequently, they are effective even in the presence of dirt, grease, oil, or other contaminants. And finally, while other technologies are not suitable for use with VFD-induced shaft currents, Aegis rings are designed to provide superior bearing protection for such VFD currents. So why settle for the limited temporary bearing protection of competitive products and technologies? Insist on the proven long-term protection of the Aegis shaft grounding rings. And due to their superior design and performance, Aegis rings have been recognized with a host of awards over the years. So now that you know if you're going to operate a motor on a VFD, you need to protect the bearings with the Aegis ring. But which one? Aegis rings are available in configurations for new or in-service motors, or motors with or without shaft shoulders, slingers, or other end bell protrusions. If you are a contractor or facility maintenance person, chances are good that you will be installing Aegis rings on an in-service motor and some of these motors have shaft shoulders, slingers, or other end bell protrusions. Designed to clear protrusions, Aegis Universal Mounting Kits, or U-Kits, simplify and speed the installation of Aegis rings on such motors. Available in solid ring and split ring versions, for NEMA or IEC motors, Aegis U-Kits include an Aegis ring and all mounting hardware. Specifically, U-Kits include four different styles of mounting brackets, as well as other needed hardware. They are the ideal solution for installing Aegis rings in the field on almost any motor. Aegis split U-Kits are ideal for in-service or coupled motors with shaft shoulders, slingers, or other end bell protrusions. Aegis solid U-Kits are designed for use on new or uncoupled motors with shaft shoulders, slingers, or other end bell protrusions. Other Aegis products include the Aegis Solid Ring for new or uncoupled motors without shaft shoulders, slingers, or other end bell protrusions. And the Aegis Split Ring, which is for in-service or coupled motors without shaft shoulders, slingers, or other end bell protrusions. In addition to bolt-on bracket installation, Aegis rings and U-kits can be installed permanently using conductive epoxy. The Aegis conductive epoxy eliminates the need to drill holes in the motor end bracket. It cures in about 4 hours at room temperature, or you can shorten that curing time by using a heat gun for about 10 minutes. The MSDS is also available. 
Before installing an Aegis ring, proper shaft preparation is required to remove any paint or rust from the motor shaft. To prevent future oxidation of the motor shaft and enhance its conductivity, Aegis colloidal silver shaft coating should always be applied to the shaft where the Aegis microfibers come into contact with it. Recommended for all Aegis ring installations, the use of colloidal silver is especially important for vertical motors or motors with roller bearings. Now let's talk about best practices for installing Aegis rings. For low voltage motors of 100 horsepower or less, motors with single row radial ball bearings at both ends, you would need to install an Aegis ring on either end of the motor shaft, either on the outside of the motor or internally. Remember to apply the Aegis colloidal silver shaft coating wherever the Aegis microfibers will contact the motor shaft. For low or medium voltage motors over 100 horsepower, as well as large motors or generators, install an Aegis ring on the motor's drive end and an insulated bearing on the motor's non-drive end. And don't forget the colloidal silver coating for the motor shaft. To download the Aegis shaft grounding ring handbook that details these and other bearing protection best practices, visit www.est-aegis.com forward slash handbook. For any additional information, please feel free to give me a call. My name is Karen Cambridge and my number is 1-866-738-1857 or you can visit our website at www.est-aegis.com. Thank you and have a great day.